thank everybody for coming today. I um, really appreciate uh, you guys being here. I'd like to start with just uh, addressing, you know, the events of the last couple of weeks and um, letting everybody know that I uh, feel very, uh, it's unfortunate on a lot of levels. Um, I think there's a lot of people that have been hurt, um, you know, in our community and um, other places. So I think uh, those mixed mistakes have been acknowledged and, um, you know, I think, like I said, it's very unfortunate. And Danny, um, you know, is a friend to me. Um, I appreciate his support and his, uh, you know, putting me in this position. I think he's acknowledged to his mistakes. And I think what we all hope um, is that we can learn from this and we can grow. And together, uh, we can move forward. Um, and, you know, I would like to bridge from that to... Uh, to our basketball team, I'm really excited about our group. Uh, you know, we have 12 out of our 15 uh, roster guys back. I think that's very, very rare in today's NBA. I think it's a group that showed a, a, to be very, very competitive, very, very resilient last year. Uh, we're going to continue to uh, demand and, and seek out people who are competitors. Uh, you know, I think uh, a big part of our program is always going to be daily improvement. So both, uh, you know, on an individual basis and as far as our team is concerned, um, we want to get better from the start of the season to the end of the season. We want to get, you know, better from the start of a practice to the end of a practice. And we're constantly looking to, to grow and improve um, internally. And lastly, I think our group is a very, very unselfish group. And I think that... Uh, you know, we want to continue to build on that. And there were a lot of positives from last year. Um, and probably the unselfishness of our group maybe is what stood out more than anything. And so, um, again, we'll continue to look for people that are competitors, that want to continue to improve, and that play um, in an unselfish way on both ends of the court. And I can't wait, uh, you know, for this season to get started. I can't wait for camp and our first practice tomorrow. So, uh, with that, I guess I'll take questions. Please remember we have a mic. We are streaming live on Hawks.com, so please identify yourself before getting into your question. Uh, Anthony Andy with WSB TV. Uh, Coach, um, welcome back for a new season. Um, my question is, is regarding um, that roster that you mentioned, uh, 12 of the 15 players back. Um, obviously, there are going to be some guys with you know, contracts coming up, uh, Paul being one of them, uh, if I'm not mistaken entering his free agent season. Um, you mentioned how the unselfishness of the group was a big key to last year. Considering the events and what's taking place here in the month of September, how do you, do you have any player concerns? Do you have any concerns as far as their mindset as to what they might be thinking going into, uh, again, just using Paul as an example, going into the final year of a deal when there's a little bit of uncertainty as to what might be taking place in his own front office? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it'd probably be, um, you know, not smart to, to say that we don't try and think of everything and we're, you know, as coaches and as an organization trying to think of everything. But I will tell you that uh, the group, um, you know, not just Paul, but the entire group, the month of September um, has been incredible in their focus and their work in the gym. Um, and a lot of this is individual, um, you know, in the month of September. So I think they feel a real commitment to each other. And, you know, I think that there's a real opportunity for us to, to you know, hopefully pull, you know, our group together, pull our community together. And um, I think they're just committed to each other and they're not going to let anything stand in the way of, uh, you know, having a great season. Um, you know, collectively, I think most importantly, and I think, you know, Paul individually having a great season is important to our group, and, you know, we want to keep him. He's somebody that's really important to us. Uh, he fits us very well. You know, I think we've uh, communicated that to him on a regular basis, and um, we're just going to focus on basketball, and I think the more that anybody in a contract year can do that, uh, regardless of the surrounding environment, the better uh, he's going to put himself in a position. Good morning, Bernard Watson from CBS 46. Coach, were you able at any point to talk to the players either individually or as a, as a team collectively about all the things that have been going on? 
Yeah, we met with the team. Um, you know, I believe it was a Sunday when the initial email uh, was released, and we had a team meeting that night. And um, you know, I think it, it happened in different phases, which was appropriate and um, made sense. I think we talked about it uh, with a bigger group, and then at one point it was just myself and the players, and uh, then it was just the players alone. And you know, it, at each kind of stage of that night and going forward. There's been a ton of communication um, on a lot of different levels, and the players have been great. Um, and you know, as much as possible, we've tried to share what we know and um, be there as a resource for them. I think the more we put, you know, our heads together, um, I learn a lot from the players, and hopefully, they learn something from me at some point. But uh, through through a process like this, I think the more together we are, uh, we felt like that was the best way to approach it. Coach Brandon Leak, Sports Radio 680 The Fan. Uh, how do you expect the team to be better? You had a lot of injury last year, and there were a lot of people that you didn't get to see a lot on the court. How do you expect this team, and where do you expect this team to be better on the court? Yeah, that's going to be a big point of emphasis, you know, starting tomorrow in camp. I think defensively is an area where we would really like to um, see improvement. I think our offensive execution at times um, is somewhere where we need to improve significantly. Um, you know, I think we're. I don't. I, I think I forgot to mention the addition of you know Tabo Cephalosha, Kent Bazemore, and Adrian Payne. Um, you know Jarrell Eddy and Dexter Pittman on camp invites. You know I think we've added uh, some players that are going to help us improve defensively. That are going to help our depth on the wing with Tabo and Kent. Um, you know, but it's it's really all the little things. The you know I think rebounding is an area where we've got to be committed as a group to. Um, to cover that. We can't uh, let our unselfishness on either end of the court slip. Um, you know, so there's a lot of just probably details uh, that we're going to be watching and looking for that attention to detail, that focus. Um, but big picture wise, I think defensively we really want to uh, take a step up. Okay, Bree and Janelle, uh, this session Atlanta. You guys are very guard heavy coming into this season. Talk about the play of the guards and the importance of that, you know, versus post players. Mm. I'm sorry, could you just repeat the question? Yes, you guys are guard heavy coming into this season. Uh -huh. I talk about the importance of guard play this upcoming season. Well, I mean, our guards are, you know, critical to us. I think the, the great thing about our group is we feel like we've got good balance. Um, you know, uh, but Jeff Teague, I think, took a big step uh, for himself personally last year and for our group, and I think we're going to be even more demanding of Jeff. You know, Kyle had a, a heck of a year. Um, Damari as a wing, um, you know, and then behind them, Shelvin and Dennis, and now Kent and Tabo and John Jenkins. You know, so our guards are important to us, um, but, you know, I feel like we're a team that's uh, got very good bigs, too, and and I think that's what we want to have is a balanced roster, guys that are versatile, guys that are skilled, that can make decisions and make plays for each other. And, um, you know, so I think, I think our guards we're excited about, but, you know, our bigs are, are uh, also uh, a group that we feel really good about. Jacob Eisenberg, Sheridan Hoops. Um, Coach, can you talk about your expectations for Dennis Schroeder in the upcoming season? He may have had unrealistic expectations placed upon him last season. Yeah, I think, you know, the expectations for Dennis this season are to come in and to compete. And um, I think grow as a point guard. I think there's a lot of things that go into being a good uh, point guard. And, you know, he's learning those things. I think he's had a very good summer. Um, but I think, you know, and his body's growing. And I think as important, you know, I think he's maturing. I'm on the mental side of the game, understanding you know how to get his teammates involved, um, understanding you know some of those those loose balls and competitive type situations, getting back on defense. Um, there's so many little things that go into making up winning and losing that young players have to learn. And so, I think he's taken some big steps over the summer, and he's going to continue to uh, to learn you know all those those subtle little things that it takes. Uh, but I think, you know, really understanding how to get his teammates involved is, is going to be uh, something. And, and, and he's, it wasn't that he wasn't trying. He's just going to get better and he's going to learn more um, as he goes into his second year. Jeff Schultz of the Atlanta Constitution. Mike, you obviously had to start this press conference talking about something that a coach wouldn't want to 
talk about on the eve of a training camp. As a head coach, your job obviously is to get players focused on the on-court product. How do you how do you go about doing that? And what's your level of concern in terms of any sort of a hangover in terms of how it translates to how you guys play and the mindset of the players? Well, I think you know. Fortunately, um, we've really approached you know the season whether it was last year or this season and I think it's one of my coaching philosophies is just the there's a process that uh, that we focus on and just the day-to-day -day, um, you know like like I talk a lot about improvement of the team and the group and we don't focus on a lot of things that are external um, whether it's what's happened over the last two or three weeks or you know, we, we had a, a tough stretch last year, and my messages were continue to be the same, that we want to compete, we want to improve, we want to play unselfish. And so if we, if we just can put our mind and, and put our focus into the process, um, I think that that's our best way to have success.